uh, I'm going to hand you over to our first speaker tonight, uh, which is Marta. And Marta, uh, well, the title of her talk is what, uh, Water and Quantum Physics, the Perfect Couple. So I'm going to hand over to Marta. Thank you, thank you all for coming. Didn't expect uh, so many people, so mm -hmm. I do appreciate it. When I was asked to give a presentation, some things came to my mind, like cinema, um, theater, many topics. But finally, I decided to talk about the company I was. I am working. I've been working for almost three years. And uh, but well, don't worry. I'm not crying. I'm not going to try to get, to sell you anything or um, bore. I don't want to bore you with figures or internal organization. What I would like to share with you is the um, basis of our work. It's our own technology based on quantum physics applied to water. Being involved in water projects has uh, fascinated me from the very beginning. In fact, um, water itself fascinates me, as life emerged from warm and shallow waters about 308 billion years ago, becoming an indispensable resource for living beings. Um, present under all its uh, liquid, solid, and gaseous forms, Water circulates constantly on Earth, um, making up the water cycle and giving the Earth the bluish hue when seen from space and from which reason is called the blue planet. About 70% of Earth's surface is covered by water, more than 97% is salted water while less than 3% is fresh water, and this is unequally distributed on the planet. Some regions suffer from uh, water scarcity, and not only because of the rapid growth of the population, because of the poor and bad management of water resources, and of the population itself. Water has become an economic and political uh, challenge. It's viewed as a, a commodity to trade. And in World Water Forum in 2000, water was privatized. Some organizations opposed, obviously, because uh, paying for this uh, vital resource will remain out of reach for the poorest population. And uh, you are probably wondering what our company can do for uh, preserving this indispensable resource. Well, Innovagua is an um, engineering company with extensive experience in, um, in technology sector related to water treatment. Its founder, Antonio Fabre, a Mexican engineer and entrepreneur, settled in Spain, created in 1968 what is called sonic molecular structuring. And what's a sonic molecular structuring? Well, it's an emitter of nanofrequencies with a specific intensities and wavelengths that is able to alter the hydrogen bridges of water. Let's see. We know that a drop of water is made up of billions of molecules of water. They are linked by the poles, but at the same time, the molecules are linked by hydrogen bridges, and those connections are the ones which are altered by the sonic molecular structure. Um, so it is able to alter the, const the physical constant of water, making it more active, reducing its this, uh, viscosity, density, capillarity, surface tension, and point of evaporation. In few words, this uh, technology makes water more lightweight, more primitive, thanks to quantum physics. 
So once we've uh, succeeded in getting a more lightweight water, for what can we use it? What, what are the applications of this technology? Well, this can be applied to a large uh, areas as we are surrounded by water, like uh, community irrigation communities, hydroelectric and thermoelectric plants, agriculture, water for human consumption. I'll focus on just two, agriculture and water bodies. In water bodies, by applying this technology, we are able to remove the sediments and reestablish the capacity of the rivers, dams, and reservoirs, and um, with a minimal and ecological impact and with zero environmental impact, as I said. Um, and also with the possibility to reuse the sediments as material compost wherever is possible and necessary. I'll show you a short video to see how it works. This is a draw of the equipment. We call it a bell because of its shape. And it emits nanofrequencies that is able to alter the hydrogen bridges, making the water therefore more lightweight and more primitive and more active. Once in into the river, it's able to uh, rehydrate the sediments which are naturally swept by the flow with a completely harmless procedure. I'll show you one of the latest work we've carried out in Puente Genil Canal in Córdoba. This is a canal that supplies water to a large area of uh, farming. This is how it looked like. As you see, it was full of sediments and weeds, making it hardly navigable. We installed the equipment, the bells, in those areas where um, the flow was bigger and we could access. This is a quite simple draw how uh, we install the bells all along the canal. And after some months, the sediment were removed. The canal recovered um, the volume of uh, its flow and the quality of the water, what is very important. Because, as I said, um, it's used for agriculture. And this is precisely the other area I would like to talk about because the benefits we obtain with this technology are also remarkable. This is one of the equipment for agriculture. We make water pass through it and then water the field. So we obtain greater capacity of humidity retention in the ground. The plants assimilate better the nutrients, what means larger crops, richer in taste with longer life. We also um, reduce water consumption and we prevent irrigation system from organic scales, as you can see. We've uh, carried out some or many groups and studies at universities and uh, official organis um, institutions where these results have been certified. But I did my own experiment with flowers. <laughs> I took two uh, bunches of flowers. Once I put it in a vase with tap water, normal water, and the other one with treated water. Um, the second one lasted longer. Uh, the aroma was more intense. And once they withered, they looked much nicer, as you can see. Those are like uh, lean over, while this one looks nicer. 
Well, to sum up, I will I will name the three main values of this um, technology. It's ecology, cost efficiency, and adaptability. Ecology because it doesn't um, because heavy machinery and uh, um, chemical agents are not necessary. We don't produce any waste or pollution, and the uh, environmental impact is there is an environmental impact. Cost efficiency because we minimize the use of energy and um, we reduce water consumption and uh, maintenance costs. And adaptability because it's a very versatile uh, technology. It can adapt to uh, the needs of each project, whatever are the climatic or topographic circumstances. And before finishing, uh, I would like to make a brief uh, reflection. Um, it's because um, human beings seem to be too busy in making money and progress, and he forgets about uh, pres preser preserving our planet, and especially water. Many rivers and uh, reservoirs and even oceans have been contaminated so far, forgetting that um, Water is the basis of all living beings. So um, we are water in more than 80%. As we saw, uh, the planet is covered by water that, uh, about 70%. So don't you think it was preserving this extraordinary source of life? Well, thanks a lot. If you want to. Uh, to get any further information or send us a question, we will be pleased to, to answer. Thanks a lot for your attention.